Hi, how to batch print PDFs from the command line. Now first you need to install Batch and Print Pro. You'll find the link in the description of this video. Once that is installed, I go into command prompt and you CD to the where Batch and Print Pro is installed, which is Program Files 86, Traction Software, Batch and Print Pro. I'm going to CD to that. So now you can run the batch and print command. So type in batch and print. So that's the main exit command. So I have some PDF files here that I want to print. So say if you just want to print one of them, you can put C to print test1.pdf minus P means print and minus Q means quit afterwards. Okay, so you see it's quickly splash up there and it's waiting to print there. So that's a simple batch and print. Now, say if I want to print all those files, change that to example star.pdf means all so then it will go through all those files and print them out like that now to do it slightly so there's no splash up if you type in minus s minus s means no splash and silent do that again you see now it's totally silent so say if you want the actual printer prompt to come up, you can do that also. So if we do um, minus P without a printer name after it, it will prompt for the printer and you can select the tray that you want to print to. So for example, I'm going to print to tray one. So that will print the PDF tray one. If you go right mouse properties, whilst it's waiting to print, you can see it's set to tray one there. So that's how I do a printer prompt. You can change a printer by putting in double quotes the actual printer name. So it'd be Xerox Work Center 5855PS. You can also change the tray on the command line with a minus T option. So I can put tray one, for example. That'll print to tray one. And for example, I could do that same again with tray two. So you can see it happening. There's tray two. Now there are ways of setting other printer settings like duplex and things like that. Um, those require a printer settings file which you can create in Batch and Print Pro. So if you go into a batch and print.exe by itself, it launches the software as normal. In there you can go file, printer setup. You can set any setting you want. So you could do stapling and things like that or different quality prints. And once you've finished setting it up, you want to file, save a printer settings as. And you can save that file To a settings file, I can't just call it settings. So now on the command line to use that setup, let's use that settings file. See to print settings.prs. I'll close that down. So that will set the setting and send that print. So that's now set the settings that were in that settings file to the printer. Uh, that's a basic example. You can do many more things on the command line. If you go into batch and print and you're going to help, HTML help, and down here you will see running from command line. So you can see it there. And there's lots and lots of different options for doing lots of different things. And that's it. Give it a try. It's a free trial. Download it and try it out. If you've got any questions, please get in touch.